Hello and welcome to Getting Candid with me, your girl Helen. Today, guys, I am super excited to be hosting and to be hosted on the Mpali set. I'm chatting with the executive producer from Mpali set, Mr. Frank Subu, who is a filmmaker, has done a lot of movies that we're going to talk about on this show. But remember to keep subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, before you even continue watching, subscribe, turn on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything that we upload on this channel. But for now, on the other side, join me as I chat with Mr. Frank Subu. Welcome back. So I mentioned that I'll be chatting with a filmmaker and the executive producer from Pali, Frank Sibuku. Hi. Hi, Helen. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm uh, good. Uh, we are in whose house right now? Uh, this is Jairus' house. <laughs> I can see their photos. <laughs> nice. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm happy to be here to join you on set. Oh, I'm excited too. Uh, yeah. Am I getting a role today? I can be wife number... Uh, no, number what? Eight. Number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Eh? Yeah, you need, you, need, you need to be ready. Yeah? That family is crazy. So yeah, I need to <laughs> you be. Need, you, you need to, to to really really put everything together to be part of that. Yeah, yeah I need to be ready to do with the shupiways and deal with the shupiways, <laughs> Mondays and, uh, and and Tommy and Tommy. Yeah. Anyway, so mm. firstly, I just want to congratulate you. Okay. You okay. guys have come. So how many years running? We've been we running seasons? five years now. So. Wow. Yeah. How many seasons? Uh, five, uh, like five seasons. Nice. Did you yeah. see yourself getting this far with Mpali? N not really, but when, when I started, it was like, okay, yeah, I didn't know what people would expect because, you know, like yeah. talking about polygamy, I felt like uh, people might not buy this concept. Yeah. But after I noticed, like, like in season two, I noticed that uh, actually people love the drama around. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's something that we are trying to, you know, like we are trying to bring out. So mm -hmm. I, I think I got the vibe and I, and, I, and I thought, this is when I started thinking now we'll get far. Yeah. How did you, uh, what inspired the concept? Because I'm thinking, have you ever maybe uh, mm. lived around a home that uh, had polygamy, have you been around people? Because I remember when Pali started yeah. and uh, we were at work, I remember one of uh, my workmates at mm. ZNBC would always say, uh, you know, the story always reminds me of the polygamy mm. I grew up under. Yes, like, yes, yes. it was so, from the way he was explaining mm. and the way things were portrayed on Pali, yeah, yeah. it was like the real thing. So yes, did you... Yes. Yeah, uh, just a bit of uh, background that I come from um, uh, almost that setup. But uh, okay. it's um, what triggered the whole concept is when we were shooting Foti. Mm -hmm. I know you, you, you liked to put that some boy. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, that there's uh, when we went to see Avonga, there's a man who hosted us. Uh, that this head man, mm -hmm. uh, he had three wives. So okay. when we were shooting, yeah, we could see the drama around. We see how really? they would relate with the with the wives. I said, but this. This concept, you know, like I had it for some time, like I had it for even even way back at movie TV. Mm -hmm. So I just thought of, uh, you know, putting it up together and pitch it as a drama series. Okay. Uh, because there's a, there's, a, there's a village in Siavonga where we have, there's a man who is married to 15 wives. And I thought of what? making a, a reality show. I wanted yeah. to do a reality show where I just go and plant cameras there and see how yeah. he spends his day and, and what. But then I thought, ish, uh, it's, it's quite hard to, you know, like the place was quite far, so mm -hmm. I, I, I just opted for a drama series. 15 yeah. wives? 15 wives, yes. Wow, mm. wow. From, from seeing that, from mm. writing Pali, from yeah. seeing people living like that, would you ever think polygamy is the way to go? No, it's not the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> and unless if you want to, to, to bring all those problems, we, we, we highlight those problems. Yeah, in we've, we've uh, seen if that. You can handle it, if you can handle those fights, oh, it's up to, I don't know, but traditionally it's, it's, it's accepted. It's acceptable, yes, yeah. yes, but uh, I don't know um, personally if you, if you can handle the pressure, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, I know we started from mm, Pali mm. and because I just wanted to bring that out, but I want to yeah. take take us back. Yes, yes. Firstly, I want to understand because I think you're one of the most creative people that I've I've seen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you you've created a lot of movies, a lot of that are just like the storylines are just like how do you come up with these concepts? But for me, I just mm. want to think of the young Frank. Yes. Uh, growing up, 
Mm. Were you always a creative? Where did it start from? Like in school, mm. were, were you involved in drama? Because mm. you, you are shy, so I don't yeah. think you were in France yeah. anywhere doing drama. Mm. How, how was your creativity always portrayed? I think um, just from the, from, from the young age, I, 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 I loved telling stories uh, mm. through illustrations. Okay. I would draw something like, uh, I'm an artist, like I'm, I'm a visual artist. So my paintings would tell, uh, you know, like my paintings would, would bring out a very, uh, you know, uh, deep storylines. Like I, I really love uh, telling storylines. I started way back at school when I was in grade seven. I would spend most of the time drawing. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, uh, I would draw the teacher, you know, illustrating, like making a storyline on how he treats us, you know, like how he used to treat, uh, treat us. Yeah. And I would uh, come up with a very crazy way of bringing out certain things that we used to go through that time. So okay. through drawings. Mm -hmm. But um, everything changed when I, uh, when I reached uh, high school. I started, you know, wanting to translate my images, you know, my drawings to visual, mm -hmm. you know, like to, to video. And that's when I, I started uh, learning more about video. Yeah, yeah um, I got inspired with that, that. That gold must be crazy movie, you know. Yeah. If you follow that, uh, the the creative side is more stronger. Uh, you know, like there's uh, okay. it's very creative. The gold must be crazy. It's a uh, the storyline is quite good. Yeah. And also how they brought out uh, certain issues. Mm -hmm. And if you watch um, shows like Shaka Zulu. Mm -hmm. you realize how powerful the creative side is, yeah. how they managed to make us believe that Shaka uh, used to speak English and yet he, he was speaking English, but us, the viewers, we, we knew that he, he, was, he wasn't, you know, speaking English. But, yeah. uh, you know, just that, that creative side, how they portrayed characters and how they, it really inspired me to do more into, you know, like to get into video and do more. Nice. Yeah, but I've I've had it for 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 quite some time. I think I'm one I'm one person they call uh, one in the family. Like where you you are just different. You yeah, talk like to the yourself, like talk to like, myself, yeah. like sometimes. Yeah, like thinking out yes, loud. Yes, thinking out loud. <laughs> uh, I would um, uh, exaggerate a storyline just to make it more exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm telling a story you know, like to someone, I would I would add something that can well, bring it out, it. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Spicing it up. Spicing it up so that it doesn't come out ordinary. So okay. I always want to tell extraordinary storylines. Yeah. Nice. Do you have some of the paintings, like the ones that you did um, before you went into visual? Yeah, I think my paintings now are in video form. <laughs> <laughs> you no, didn't keep any for memory's I sake. Did, I, didn't, I didn't get that. I have some of them at home, but yeah. um, you know, there are those uh, old, old, because most people you would come and get, you know, they would just okay. come and, and grab, uh, yeah. you know. I used to do a lot of paintings when I was at movie TV. Okay. And that time when I left movie, a lot of things, uh, you know, like I, I had to now learn to establish myself. Mm -hmm. And I, I left most of the paintings and, and stuff that I was doing, like mostly illustrations, like comic books and stuff like that. Have you seen any of your kids getting that trait from you? Marcus, and you are both creative. Yes, so. yes. Marcus, my second born child, my uh, boy, is, uh, is very artistic. Okay. Like I could see that he has it, like he has that artistic hand. Yeah. Um, the way he's uh, standing out in terms of uh, drawings, you know, mm -hmm. he's, he's, really a, he's really an artist, I can, I can see it in him. And how do you plan on encouraging your kids when it comes to that type? Like, are you the mm. type that's going to say, oh, you follow your dream, you love mm. this, this is because it has worked out for me. Or maybe if you see them liking something else, you want to mm. drive them to what you like. Oh, yeah. how are you? I, I, I've seen, um, I think Marcus, Marcus is one, uh, and he's junior, yeah? Marcus is Frank's book. Oh! So, uh, yes, yes. He's, oh, I've uh, never yeah. known. How <laughs> he's Frank's book, ah, yeah. okay. So he's, uh, it's just the mother likes the Marcus name too much. <laughs> although it's overshadowing. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely is, because I've, I've never known that he's junior. Yes, yes, he's yeah. Frank's book. So okay. he's, um, He's, I can see, like the way I encourage him, but like I, I, he's got more drawing, you know, 
uh, mm. like drawing elements around him than, yeah. than anything else. Mm. So he's able to take good pictures through with the phone. Mm. So most of the, when I get home, I give him my phone to take pictures. Yeah. So I say, go around and take each and every person in the house, you know, like he would yeah. come and show me. So I can see the interest building up from that age, you know, like it, it's, it's, nice. it's really impressive. Mm. So I would like to carry on and, and see how far uh, we can get him. Nice. Hopefully you will keep it, but otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. when they get to a certain level, the they, they, they interest direction they changes. Trying yes. something else. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, mm. let me take you back to the movie TV days. How yeah. did movie TV, firstly, how did you find yourself at movie TV? Uh, I, I actually, it, it was through drawings, the same uh, paintings. Oh. Yeah. Um, I used to, I did a bit of rapping there and there. Really? Some, some time back. I yeah, want to know that story. Serious? Yes, yes, we used to rap. Yeah, yeah it was hard. <laughs> you know, you like, went in the studio. Yes, yes, inspired by huh. uh, the Black Moon too yeah. and whatever. So one, I, I, I always wanted to take up that, but I discovered that I had no. It's I, not me. It. No, no. <laughs> There was no talent there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you told yes, yourself that. Yes, yes, no, I, I, no, I realized that I'm better with drawings. Yeah, okay. No. So I did, uh, there's a certain drawing that I did, and um, I wanted to show it to Mr. Nyerenda mm -hmm. uh, and uh, James Chamanyazi. James Chamanyazi is actually the one who linked me to movie. It was movie okay. passe then. Yeah. Yes, so he saw the drawing and said, no, I have uh, my boss, Angel Piri, is, uh, is one of, uh, he loves it, like he does drawings and is also a cinematographer at movie passe. Mm -hmm. So you should, you should get to meet and, and chat. So I took my drawing there. He looked at it, uh, he saw that it was good, but there were a lot of things missing because at that time he was a pro. Yeah. So he was like, oh no, the color, don't, don't use black, mm -hmm. use dark brown. So he controlled me somewhere there and Mr. Nyenda saw the painting. So he was like, oh, no, I think he's, he's, he has something so we can, we can talk. Mm -hmm. From that point, I started going there, you know, I started pushing myself to, to show more. Yeah. You know, uh, actually, I even started taking more of uh, comic books than, 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 than the paintings. Okay. Because I realized that my paintings were criticized, but uh, I was just learning. And yeah. So later on, they, they, we improved them. I started selling. Uh, Mr. Nyenda got few. Then uh, when they opened movie TV, I was actually in the, in the, in the line to audition for acting. And, 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 and other things like uh, illustrations, mm. uh, doing illustrations for Kwekwe. You remember, you remember Kwekwe? Kwekwe. It's a, it was a cartoon, eh? Yes, yes I remember it, yes, I remember. Yes. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Nyerenda picked me for that, said, no, oh, you can nice. start uh, illustrating Kwekwe's uh, drawings and we, uh, uh, stories, then we, we see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then from there, I, I from illustrating uh, Kwekwe, I started doing uh, sound for, I started learning sound. Mm. Because for me, at the end of the day, I didn't want to end up as just an either. I wanted to end up as a director. Oh, okay. So the passion was, yes, I'm doing this, but I'm looking at that That's man's what job. Like. Yes. That looks more cooler than, <laughs> <laughs> than, what, than, what, yes, than, than what I'm doing. So I started pushing myself to do a bit, to do more. Yeah. Um, from uh, drawings, I, I went to sound. Mm -hmm. Because that was an opportunity, like doing sound for Constable. Okay. So uh, I think I, I held the boom for almost two years. Really? Boom, I guess. Yeah. You know? And uh, it was a challenge because I was small and you know, mm. it, you have to climb on something for you to, to, to elevate the boom nicely. Yeah. So it was, I did that for almost two years. Then uh, I started learning camera work. Mm -hmm. uh, from camera work, now I decided to start producing. Mm. Say, no, I think I've, I've, I've I, I know how this is done. Yeah. Artistically, I had the idea, mm -hmm. but I just didn't know the know-how and stuff like that. And movie TV uh, trained us. They took us for courses and whatever. So we started learning production, and that's when I started producing Flat Six. Nice. Who came up with the concept for Flat Six? I, I did. Uh, I, I did come up with the concept. Uh -huh. We sat down with uh, Vagabond, Innocent. Yeah, Innocent. Yes, yeah. yes. So we sat down and uh, panel. You know, like we just workshopped the idea and, well, it really worked out. Nice. And we started, um, 
uh, screening it, and, and people loved the Flat Six. I think it was one of it the hit was shows. Really on, good. Yes, yeah. it was one of the hit shows. We looked for those funny characters, Chico, mm -hmm. um, Miriam Buxton. Yeah. Yes, yes. I still work with Miriam Buxton. Yes, actually. in Pali. Yes. <laughs> in Pali. Yeah. In Pali. Yes, yes. So it's been a journey. Um, to we, from from flat six, I started doing a bit more. I wanted to, to push myself a bit more, so I yeah. did. I became part of the news department. Mm -hmm. I would edit news and go out to capture with Mavuto Piri, and okay. um, from there I started directing even st studio shows. Mm -hmm. So I did straight talk. I did dance fever, mm -hmm. teen uh, kids star, mm -hmm. uh, teen star, and um, and other shows that were just you know like. Political kind of arrangement, yes. That was a journey, and it was. A journey. You really did yeah. like it's a ladder where yes, step yes. by step you're learning this until yes, yes. it blossomed to what yes, it is yes, today. Yes. And that time, you know, that the good the, the thing the good thing with the, um, that experience is that you just had to do it. Yeah. So you just had to do it. Uh, my boss would just come to say, you know what, we are doing a there's a there's a talk show coming, so you are producing it. Yeah. Um, at some point, I worked with Mr. The late Augustine Lungu, mm -hmm. and he would just say, "Frank, I want you to do an opening for this. You create the graphics, produce it, film it, and and do everything, production, and bring it." <laughs> so you know that that challenge was was there, like with movie TV. So yeah. it stretched, you know, like the the, the the mindset, mm -hmm. like it changed the mindset from 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 teamwork to just an individual kind of, uh, you know. Yeah. Working style, yeah, yeah, helped it, me a lot. Actually. It obviously, that's what I want to say. That it obviously mm. still feels like it's a lot of work, yeah. But in the in the end, it benefits you. Yes, at the end yes, of the day, yes, yes. Great journey. I think this is a story that a lot mm. of people that just went boom mm. today they are there. Yeah, it's very inspiring because clearly you mm. didn't just get here. You yeah, didn't yeah. like they say you don't just become. Yeah. It, it was a journey that was going all the way. Mm. But then I want to understand. You know, your concepts, like you said, flat six was different. Yeah, it's something that we never saw before. One of the biggest mo uh, movies that we've had in this country mm. was Red Bag. Yeah. How did that idea come up? Actually, Red Bag was supposed to be, uh, it was supposed to come at the time that uh, Movie TV was, uh, they were, uh, Mr. Nyenda was uh, opening the Fresh View Cinemas. Mm -hmm. So initially he wanted the production that, he wanted the film that would get people together so that they, they launch the cinemas and launch a, they launch a, a Zambian production at the same time. Okay. Uh, when, when he told us to come up with a movie, it was a bit challenging because one, um, you know, at that time production was very hard. Like it was, it's not like where we have, uh, you know, uh, equipment uh, around like everywhere. Anyone can film, any, yeah. you know, it was very difficult. You can only manage to get equipment from a production house, a big production house. Yeah. It was only ZNBC, Movie TV, Viswa, uh, uh, and uh, even Horn College and whatever. So for you to do a movie that can come out big, you have to at least involve a big production mm -hmm. house. And uh, Mr. Nyanda asked us to, to come up with a film. So for me, I think I wanted a movie. I strategically designed the Red Bag to only attract people to come to the cinemas. Okay. Yes. So I thought of this idea of centering the storyline on one thing, on the bag with money. You know, we all, we all, need, we all love money. <laughs> yes, <laughs> And there's money in this bag. So how we get excited when we have money? So having that concept, then now yeah. I thought, who can play it? So why, why can't I... Uh, uh, then I thought of bringing the, the famous faces, yeah. attach them to the money. Let's see how they they run you know around with money so yeah. uh, each person that was in the red bag had the following so i'm pulling viewership mm -hmm. from different uh, characters so yeah. i know if i bring in kabova kabova there are people who love kabova mwene mm -hmm. there are people who love mwene mushi dinais they love dinais charles they've seen charles in other shows and whatever so he's got a following yeah. so they they will come and see what he did in this movie then at the end of the day, it's a silly movie. It's not a serious. It's comedy. No, yeah. Yes. So, I thought around that concept, and I thought it was quite good for Zambians because they mm. would come and have and just share that light moment. Mm. But unfortunately, 
uh, the red bug had a storyline also, uh, like behind the scenes. Um, when I pitched, after I shot, yeah. uh, I took it to my boss and he was like, uh, not good enough. Uh, Mr. Yonda looked at it and said, no, this cannot stand. So I, I got a bit uh, disappointed. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, I've worked so hard to I get to way. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, no, I don't think it can stand. We are looking for a movie. So we're not looking for something uh, that is just, you know, and the characters are speaking Bemba, you know, it's, it's very difficult. And the wife was, was white, so she couldn't understand, she couldn't get the jokes. Okay. So she was like, yeah, I love the setup, but uh, I don't think it's something that we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, I got upset and deleted the movie. You deleted yes. the movie? I just did, trashed the footage. Wow. After exporting one copy, I trashed the footage, packed everything. Um, two years down the line, the cinemas were running. Yeah. They wanted a local production again to, to, to the cinemas, like they want to take to the cinemas. Mm -hmm. And luck, you know, like I didn't even, I had even forgotten that I gave that copy to Kennedy Piri. I had given it to <laughs> Kennedy Piri to just watch, like yeah. get it. I don't need it because the boss didn't really like, like the film. So yeah. uh, Kennedy Piri and kept that movie, you know, and I could see how he would come, you know, like he would come to work laughing about the jokes and whatever, because the kids used to watch it over and over at home. Okay. So he said, the movie that you're, why don't you watch this? Why don't you take the red bag to the cinemas? Because for, for him, he watched that, like he used to watch it almost, Every day, they, the kids would watch it. Mm -hmm. No, they oh, you have it. Yes, I still have a copy that you gave me last time. So that's how I got that copy and showed it to Mr. Mwansa, Costa Mwansa. I said, mm -hmm. no, I have this movie, and maybe if you, maybe if you can show it, people would love it. Mm -hmm. And that's how they, 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 they Mr. Mwansa got it and, uh, and packaged it together nicely, we, 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 it was very difficult to cope because the CD had started, you know, like scratch, oh, getting yeah. scratched and whatever. So we had to re render it. Yeah, and that's how we took it to the cinemas and the response was amazing. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever get that response again. <laughs> you never know. Mm, I will never, but, I, but it was huge. It was huge. It that, was huge. Like movie. people loved every bit of the comedy. I remember one time one, one man coming out of the cinemas laughing, you couldn't stand being there, like uh, all the cinemas were fully booked. Yeah. And he came out, he said, I couldn't stand that joke where, um, uh, who's this, uh, the late uh, Candolo. Yeah, yeah. The late was hit with a, with a pan and with he was pan, still, <laughs> after being hit, he was still trying to get to the bag. And, and you know, he couldn't stand that joke. Yeah. Uh, he just had to come out of the cinemas to laugh. That was, and I remember one time, just yeah. that year when we were watching The Red Bag, somebody from, I think it was Uganda, mm. they tweeted to say, I'm, I'm, I enjoy watching this movie, The Red Bag. I just yeah. need somebody to be translating yes, certain yes. things that I'm not getting. Yes. So we're like, oh, it's gone like that far. Like even people yeah. that are not in Zambia are actually watching this. Yeah. So that is, that, that is huge. Yeah, so that's, the, that's just <laughs> The Red Bag. But the fact that it was, ah, it was just, <laughs> God just wanted it to be seen yes. somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about Zambezi Magic coming in the picture. Yeah. You first, you, was it easy for you? How long did you work for Movie TV? Um, movie TV, I did 10 years. How difficult was, how easy, difficult was it for you to say, I need to move on? And what prompted you to move on? Wow. Um, uh, yes, the moving on was tough. Eh? <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah. it was tough because I had this great, great relationship with my boss. Mm. Um, I knew that there was a gap that I was going to leave behind. You know, I, it was very difficult. My boss kept on calling me, Frank, are you okay? And whatever. It was, it was very difficult. I just said, okay. You know, um, movie TV started having, uh, you know, issues, you know, the time that threw out the, sh the shutdown and whatever, and I was willing to stay there. But the problem, the good thing is that my late brother, Alistair, was still with movie TV, and mm -hmm. whatever I could do, Alistair would do the same, yeah. like he, would, he was really good technically. So I was like, okay, I've made a decision to leave, 
um, where I'm going, I don't know, but I just feel like I can do, I can be more productive, independent, I can create more content because I always, I, I think all the time. I think my wife knows that I, I'm always thinking of doing this, this, this and that and whatever. So being restricted, is, it was very hard. Because now, after that shutdown, uh, uh, the station started becoming a bit more sensitive with, in terms of like creating production. Oh, okay. They were they wanted something that uh, like wanted all productions to be approved, um, uh, and and uh, I thought I didn't want that. Uh, limit, I didn't want to the limit me. So the limitation yeah. was very hard. Like I couldn't, I couldn't stand. <laughs> I couldn't stand to be told what to do. Yeah. So I wanted to to make my own stuff. Like I wanted to create my own productions. Nice. Yes, yes. And it has worked out. And it has worked out uh, through, yes, with Zambezi Magic, it worked out even better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, mm. we, we can only say, the, because the first the, the first movie you gave was, mm. was it Mfuti? Njila. I did Njila. Oh, it was Njila. Yes, yes. I did Njila. I did uh, two seasons of Njila. Okay. Uh, the first season, I, uh, the first season did quite well. Um, mm -hmm. The second season, I think it's in the way the direct the, st the di story direction changed mm -hmm. because now it was more. The, the first one was more of an individual. Like we did, I did, I produced that with Brian Palali, mm -hmm. and we were trying to create, you know, like a very sad storyline and and. Uh, uh, and, and just it was just more on a sympathy side, but uh, the second part we wanted to bring it out to bring to go deep, you know, in terms of storytelling. But I think there were a lot of things that we missed out. But it was it was okay. People yeah. watched it. Yeah. Okay. So now there's something that uh, I've, I've noticed from the time the the, the, the movies that I've seen that you've mm. done from way back to the ones that you're doing now from mm. the, like I mean, Zambezi Magic. I've seen. Jilam, Fruity, yeah. Zedman, Zedman, yes, yes. Um, Pali. Now, I'm just thinking that there's you. Most of the actors, for yeah. example, Jairus. Yeah. Jairus, we saw him in other movies. With yes, a yes. small boy. Yes, yes. Now he's. You've worked with the same faces for mm. a long time. What mm. What is it that you do that makes you? Because we see people working mm. with different people all the time. Mm. What kind of relationship do you have with your actors? Yeah. Um, um, at some point, I had uh, issues with uh, Monde in Pali now, with Jemima. Jemima, yeah. Because it was like, it, when you think of a production, you always think about one character, you know, like to be part of that production. <laughs> yeah. Because I've been with uh, Jemima for almost like six, seven years now. Yeah. Yeah, I started we were working with her way back, and mm. I still. Um, work with her even now and we are still planning to do more things and bigger things and, and you know bigger productions yeah but but the, I think the trick um, my 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 secret is very uh, I, I take them in they are part of the production um, and I also I create this relationship where even if the project has money or it doesn't have money we we'll still work together. We we'll still struggle and uh, produce something. Yeah. So I embrace them as family, and uh, you know, um, like Joe Sakala in, mm -hmm. from Forty, yeah. and we did some short films way back, and we still. Oh, in, in fact, even even Mr. Sakala, Henry Joe Sakala himself. Yeah. I think I've never done a production without his hand. You know. Yeah. Yes. Yes, because you know it's trust. You know, you get to build this relationship mm -hmm. to say, okay, what if. I would want to produce something without money. Or what if, who can be there for me? So yeah. these are the people that are always there when you need them. Mm -hmm. And um, and they are amazingly talented. So I think I, I ride on that. Mostly they are talented and I would like, I would like to keep them for even other productions. And they are, they are just diverse. Like if you look at Jemima, Period. Oh, she brilliant. can play any role. Brilliant. She can play yeah. any role. She did Justice to Mfuti. Yes. She was in Jila. She's in Pali. She's doing different a movie. Different roles. And different roles. Uh, roles. And when you, when you look at the performances, always yeah. fresh and, you know. Like Logic, for example, mm. when I watched him in Mfuti, I didn't expect it. him to play the role that he yes, did. Yes. Totally different people. Yes, and and logic is look look where he is now. He's a yeah. he's a grown filmmaker now. Yes. He's a, he's, trying, he's he's building his own production, and yeah. we are there to support him. And um, would want whether he's trying to do something 
you know, like his own productions and whatever, we are always there to push him. Yeah. Up and which is which is quite good, you know, like growth is there. Nice. Mm. But uh, so having uh, having a wife who is also a creative, how yeah. has that like helped or is is it, it how has that worked for you? Mm. Um, it has worked. I think she's the most um, uh, because she she's the most she's she's in the middle. Like she's she's like no, I've heard that storyline before. Uh, oh, okay. No, I don't tell me. Don't eh, you said? Don't she's start telling me about those stories. I've heard them before yeah. because she's the first one who receives the concept. Okay. When the concept comes out, she's the one to <laughs> criticize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all you know, it has worked very well because she's also into. Uh, she's a she's a media personality and yeah. she's um she's quite um, supportive when it comes to my field. Mm. Um, I'm into film and now this, uh, I, I saw last year she joined in, in writing like drama series. Mm. She did quite well. I okay. uh, loved every bit of you know, the ideas that she, she brought through. Mm. I think um, she's, and that's how I, 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 at some point I feel like that's why I've we've made it this far because I yeah. think my wife supports me. Okay. You know, um, there are times where we shoot late nights, like we, we come, shoot midnight past like that. We we're just shooting, and she understands. Nice. And I remember how the time that you were doing uh, the, what Z Z uh, Z Connect. Z Connect. <laughs> yes. Yes, you would come very late. No, the the show started late yeah. and whatever. Then Those I hours, would understand. man. So it's, it's, like, <laughs> would, you leave home at eight. You're getting home in the morning like zero two zero. It yes. was crazy. Yeah, but yeah. I think I, I I really thank God that I yeah. have a wife who understands my field, and um, she's always there to support. Nice, yeah. I like that. Now, uh, you, you, you mentioned uh, you worked with your brother Alistair yeah. for a long time and yeah. you were working together even on Bali. Yeah. How, how has that, how, how is that, like obviously he left a gap. Mm. That, mm. How, how has that worked for you especially? Mm. Mm. It, um, well, uh, it's hard. Um, the Alistair, talking about Alistair, it's really hard because sometimes uh, you know, you would get to a scene, like shooting party, you get to a scene where you only see him. Yeah. Um, I had my, like I have my weaknesses, like he really had, uh, he, like he, he knew what I was able to do and what I, you know, can't, like. Mm -hmm. So he understood me very well and um, that gap is very difficult to actually uh, feel like it will never it will never i always have my breakdowns mm -hmm. um like uh, recently i was shooting a wedding and he he did most of the weddings on party the most uh, the most popular uh, s uh episode on party uh, is was the kitchen party manida's kitchen Why party okay, yeah. he directed all the i did the wedding but he directed the kitchen party which was highly rated mm -hmm. Uh, he directed all the big scenes that are highly rated on by. Oh, nice. And uh, getting to that level without him, I think it's very difficult. Yeah. You know, I, I, just, I just can't manage. Like, um, I will try to push uh, myself, but uh, yeah. I always get to a point where I can't do it. How are you dealing with um, the whole thing? Uh, it's really hard. Uh, I can't lie. Um, <laughs> It's really hard. Sometimes it's 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 very difficult. You know, yeah. we wake up, we try to call him, mm -hmm. and uh, you realize that he's no more. So it's it's hard. Um, my on the call list, uh, Alistair was was the first that I would well immediately like I wake up, mm -hmm. then I call. Yeah. Um, but you would do the same. You the guy forget sometimes. Yeah. And you forget. You bring. You get your phone. You want to call. Then you realize. Oh. That, oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. Yes, Don't it's, worry. Um, this. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's no more. So I think those are the challenges that I have uh, at now. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to push myself. Um, I'm trying to keep myself busy. I'm trying to create more content so that uh, I'm actually doing it for him. Actually, even this movie, I'm dedicating the whole movie, the, the next movie, to him, uh, mm -hmm. to, to to him, and see how I can push. You know, he would like he would love to see me uh, do more. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's mm. what I need to say. We we can with time, mm. 
obviously it doesn't really heal but mm. with time things get better yeah and obviously you can't wait because you work you work together mm. you obviously plan mm. things mm. together mm. so you sitting back and not doing mm. anything will actually mm. not make him happy yeah but we can wish you the best yeah and um so now you mentioned the movie just tell us about mm. the current movie you're working on yeah so i'm doing a movie called pure heart mm -hmm. yeah um uh, like I said, <laughs> mm. you know, each movie has to have something. Like, yeah. um, because you can't tell a straight storyline. I will tell you that you go from, you, you, you wake up, you go to the market. Uh, you just wake up in the morning, everything is okay. You go to the market, you buy whatever you want to buy, come back. Yeah. And you see it, then uh, it, it's a story. And it's, it's too ordinary. It's yeah. too normal. It's too clean. It's too straightforward. So I want storylines that have waves. I want storylines that will take you there, bring you down, you know. You wake up in the morning, the phone is flat, you can't call. You wake up, you get into your car, you have a flat tire, you fix the flat tire in the process, <laughs> you run into a, a, another vehicle. Yeah. So that challenge is what makes a story exciting. And that, that's what makes people to sit around and listen to you. So that's what I'm trying to do with the movies that are coming up now. I'm trying to not tell direct storylines. I'm trying to... Uh, to get a bit more deep in terms of uh, bringing out certain dynamics that you wouldn't get from a Zambian movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, of course there are other filmmakers that are doing good, but uh, our line and our focus is to do very creative storylines. Um, people might even ask, well, well, hey, what are they talking about? Hey, this film, what? Making you uncomfortable, making you comfortable, making you cry, mm -hmm. making you laugh. Yeah. Making, that's the experience that we are bringing uh, together in this film called Pure Heart. Mm -hmm. Beautifully performed by uh, Judith, uh, who is playing Monica in Paddy. Okay. And Frank, who is playing, uh, oh, he's Frank. You see? No, <laughs> we are getting used to his, uh, to his character name. That Frank, Hicks what's Yamba. his real name? <laughs> Hicks Yamba. Okay. I think um, from what I've seen, I don't know how what people will see, uh, but uh, what I've seen like, that it's it's a quite brilliant performance uh, performance by by these two actors. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, an introduction. Uh, Miriam Buxton's daughter. Oh, you, yes, oh, really? Yes, yes. She's the actress. She's in the, the actress. Oh, yeah. nice. She's getting she's it from doing, her mother. She is doing an amazing job like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's um. It's, it's amazing to see a young person coming out like that. Okay. Yeah, so she's, um, she's there. And we have um, um, Emma Rose. Emma Rose, uh -huh. uh, she's, she's doing quite well. Um, For like those that don't know, she plays um, Nancy's niece. Yes, in Nancy's Paulina Pali. in Mpali. Yes. So it's, this is a, a, a typical Mpali offload. Um, mm -hmm. Most of the characters are coming from Mpali. And I'm just trying, I think it's a new journey that I'm taking. I want to do mostly, I want to do movies with, um, with Mpari characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just combine it with others. But this particular one features Chimwe Mwezuru from Makofi. Okay. Uh, and, and, and there are quite a lot of, int you know, good, in, interesting characters. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is that uh, we've, um, uh, we are bringing a, a, a very different feel, uh, a mystic kind of arrangement, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's not those... You know storylines that you would uh, it's it's a we predict, puzzle we are predicting yes, how yes. it's going to end yes, yes. it's it's a puzzle i want to bring storylines that brings a certain puzzle like it's very difficult to solve to solve yeah so the first part comes out uh in november we are launching we're having our premiere mm -hmm. uh, and um uh, the second part will come out uh, january oh, end of okay. january and uh, the thing is, it's actually the whole structure, the story structure is, 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 it comes in four, like four uh, parts. Four parts, okay. Yes, yes. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, es to establish this kind of, uh, this way of doing story, uh, like movies. So uh, hopefully people will love it and uh, they will also enjoy the performance, the brilliant performance by Frank. Uh, he's an amazing actor. And Very, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I feel like, He's the guy. Like <laughs> I can see the excitement on your face. Like He's I can't wait. Yes. So you said the the launch is when? Uh, the launch is um, 26th November. Yeah. Um, this November, but uh, we, we, anyway, the, the trailers will come out mm -hmm. uh, with the actual date. But uh, we hope, hopefully, we we will bring it um, this November. 
Okay, yeah. and uh, when once everything is out there, mm. the people, some the people will be free. Yes. They'll be able to come and attend. They yes. can buy tickets and yes, it's open exactly. to the public. Exactly. So you've heard it, guys, and we know what A-lists can do. <laughs> so you've seen Pali, you've seen Zedman, so I can't wait for this particular one. I've seen yeah. the trailer, and uh, we're going to show the trailer at the end of the, the interview, so you yeah. guys can have an idea what it's going to be like. Yeah. So you'll get your tickets, we'll talk about it on the show, so that you guys don't forget to get those tickets. Yeah. So I can't wait, Yeah. and all the best. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. for Thank all you. the work done. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, thanks for having me. Unfortunately, the owner of the house is not here and the wife uh, uh, Chipego is cooking. I was going to taste mm. some of that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. So remember to keep subscribing and I hope you enjoyed this particular interview. Mm. I've been trying to interview him for a long time. Yeah. He didn't want to do the interview. So I'm happy yeah. that he finally agreed. So I hope you guys love it. Bye-bye. I don't love your father. Does it have money? Me, I want money. And I wouldn't want anyone, anything happen to you. You can't take care of her. You have nothing to give her. You go and take her, she's going to be miserable. We've been looking for somebody. Give me this gift. I don't want any of this. I don't want this woman.